Good evening, fellow collectors. July 23rd, 2009. And tonight we're going to look at some of the final bid prices on the Coach's Corner auctions that ended this month, July 17th. You know, what's really pathetic is that every month when I do this, I know it sounds very redundant and being repetitive, but I have no choice because I want to get across what goes on over there. These guys claim, all of them, to live and breathe the hobby for decades. Decades. And yet they allow this crap to flood the market. Authenticated by Stato Authentic or Chris Morales. It's all crap. And when it floods the market, it devalues the autographed collections of people who own legitimate and authentic memorabilia. So, let's look at some of this pathetic stuff. All right, lot number one is a Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, autographed baseball. And you notice every time they have something like this up on the auction site, it's always a fairly white ball, and it's always a really huge, bold autograph. But, of course, these two autographs are fake. It's lot number one. They claim the book value was $50,000, authenticated by Morales, and it ends up at $6,510. How does a book value of fifty grand end up at $6,510? Because both of those autographs are fakes. Now here's one, lot number 378, authenticated by Morales, another Christy Matthewson, one of the rarest autograph items you'll ever see. Nobody ever has a Christy Matthewson authentic autograph anything, but Coach's Corner has at least six to eight or ten up every year. And this one, lot number 378, authenticated by Morales, they claim has a book value of $20,000. And it ended up at $163. How does a book value of 20 grand from Christy Matthewson's autograph end up at $163? Because the autograph isn't real. It's a forgery. You want to talk about pathetic? How about lot number 901? Four 3x5 cards with autographs of Derek Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, Joe DiMaggio, Mickey Mantle. This is pathetic. The end bid price, $39. $39. All of these penned by one and the same person. Uh, how about lot number 21? This one will really get you. Autographed guitar, and you know, Coach's Corner always has Beatles autographed memorabilia on their auction site. Items that no one else has in quantity. This one here is a guitar signed by Paul, George, and Ringo. They claim that this is a priceless item. How does priceless equal $2,315? Explain that one to me. Scott, all you guys over there, Lee, explain to me how priceless equals $2,315. We all know those are not the autographs of Paul Ringo and George. You know it, and I know it. Now my audience knows it. And guess what? Lot number 895. Only Coach's Corner could come up with another Michael J. Kelly autograph item. 895. And it went for a whopping $301. And guess who is the authenticator? Yep. Good old Chris. I never saw an autograph I didn't like. Morales. I, you know, in all honesty, and I've mentioned this before in my videos, I have yet to see one item authenticated by Morales that I can truly say is authentic. Not one. And I've been looking for at least one. Can you, I mean, that's unbelievable if you think about that. And he has all this uh, forensic credentials. Holy crap. Here's a pathetic item, lot number 883. This is really, really bad. Babe Ruth cut. Authenticated by, yeah, I know, Morales. Oh, a whopping $301. And that is a really, really poor Babe Ruth cut autograph. How about this? Lot number 943. This is really sad. Babe Ruth autograph on a jersey. Yes, on a jersey. Authenticated by Morales. By a, we, yes, Morales. $207. How does a Babe Ruth autographed jersey end up at $207? Because 
when the autograph is a fake. How about a Babe Ruth autograph bat, line number 327? Yep. Oh, oh, I can't say it, but I'm going to say it. Authenticated by Morales. Yep. It went for a whopping $1,418. A $30,000 item that ended up at $1,418. Pretty, pretty bad. How about lot number 903, a Ty Cobb cut? Yep. Went for a whopping $133 on the Coach's Corner auction site. Here's another one by Morales. Lot number 218. A Lou Gehrig autograph on a softball. On a softball. Then I get it by Morales. A whopping $233. And these final bid prices reflect the fact that these are not authentic signatures by these athletes. How about lot number 268? This one is pretty incredible. Lot number 268. Four Mickey Mantle baseballs with various inscriptions. Four with various inscriptions. All four went for a total of $331. And those are really, really ugly Mickey Mantle autograph items. They are pathetic. $331. You know, a lot of this stuff is going to end up on eBay. I, I, I know it is. This, this kind of stuff gets flipped somewhere else. The super rare, rare autograph, which should have went for a whole lot more money, is lot number 12. A uh, great third baseman, Jimmy Collins on a baseball. Wow. Oh, yeah, authenticated by our buddies, Ted Taylor and Jeff Stevens, a whopping $835. Again, I have yet to see an item authenticated by Stat Authentic, the clowns of authentication that has uh, ever been authentic. And right, let's do one more item, lot number seven. Another rare, rare item that only Coach's Corner has, a Jackie Robinson autographed baseball. Went for a whopping $1,474 and authenticated by Stat Authentic, Ted Taylor and Jeff Stevens. Those prices reflect the fact that they are all fakes. A uh, real quick one here. This is uh, item number 180-387-1657. One nine. This is a World Baseball Classic jersey. Derek Jeter autograph. I caught this on eBay. There's the item number. It's a forgery. It's not Derek's autograph. Authenticated by Ace Authenticators. I think that might be Justin Pretty, but whoever authenticated this, Ace Authenticators, that is a fake Derek Jeter autograph. That is not Derek's autograph. Ace Authenticators. I think this ended up like $152.50. Pathetic. And a forgery. And one more item before I go. I spotted this on eBay. It's not a fake or anything, but I'm wondering. There's the item number. You can see it right there. Uh, Thurman Munson and Joe Morgan autographs. Thurman's, of course, is a cut autograph. How does Upper Deck allow this cut autograph of Thurman Munson to go into production like this and to be uh, let out into the market. What happened to the Therm in Thurman? Had, what a waste of a Thurman Munson cut autograph. It should be an $8,000 item. I don't know, six, seven, eight. I think it's at like $400. Why would Upper Deck allow this? Why couldn't they catch something like this and not allow it to go into the packs? Why would Upper Deck do that? I mean, what a waste of a Thurman Munson cut autograph. And Thurman was a great ball player. I loved him, and I was so sad on the day he got killed in that plane crash. But he didn't sign that much. And that is the one waste of a cut autograph of Thurman Munson. So that's it for today. We're waiting for the new Coach's uh, Corner Auctions to start up, I'm sure, in a few days, and I'll do my thing. So until then, everybody have a good night.